Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another episode of Just My Opinion. This one is for the box office results for Ant-Man and the Wasp and all the other films that have been released in theaters in the past few weeks. Uh, a little late to the party, but that's OK. Uh, better late than never. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So um, you already know right now that Ant-Man and the Wasp, the 20th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, has now in theaters uh, came out last week um, you know some people were saying that they wanted it to go over 100 million dollars uh, that would have been very um, very surprising in my opinion if it reached that height um, I, I was a little skeptical not knowing where it would go I wanted it to at least do uh, 50 million because the first one did 53 or 58 million uh, but it came in at 75 million dollars 75 million eight hundred twelve thousand two hundred and five dollars out of um, 4200 um, locations um, or excuse me, not locations, but actual like theaters, theater rooms or screens or whatever. Uh, coming in at number two is Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom, uh, bringing in twenty eight million six hundred thirty two thousand three hundred seventy five dollars. Uh, it is in its third week domestically, $333 million. Incredibles 2 is still uh, chugging away. It's in its fourth week, brought in another $28 million. It dropped 38% uh, from its third weekend. It's in uh, about 4,100 theaters right now. So I already did like uh, Incredibles, right? It's doing well domestically. It's $503 million. So that's great. Uh, we're going to get to see... Um, you know, worldwide, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. Another new release this past weekend is The First Purge. Um, it is the fourth film in the franchise. Um, I will be shooting my review for that right after this. It will be a spoiler review for The Purge because the movie has been out more than a week now. And um, so subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for that because that's coming next. Uh, but The Purge came in at $17 million. Uh, number five is Sac uh, Sicario, Day of the Soldado, $7 million. Number six is Uncle Drew, another film that I saw. Got a review for that and sub Sac Sicario 2. Um, that brought in $6 million. Um, Uncle Drew is in his second weekend at $29 million right now. Now, what is the budget for Uncle Drew? Uh, I think it was $13 million when I looked um, earlier. Um, but Uncle Drew is a pretty funny film to me. Um, I think, um, I mean, if you had, if, if this is something that's completely out your wheelhouse, you know, actually, I was going to say it's not for you, but um, I have heard that there are some people that, you know, are just like, okay, this is not for me. And they just saw it because of for work or whatever. And they ended up liking it. But I liked it. So uh, it says the budget is between 17 and 19 million dollars. So I'm just going to go ahead and round that up to 20. Um, so. Yeah, it's at $32 million right now. So uh, it can do a little bit better. Hopefully, you know, we can maybe see if this gets to around $50 million. Um, it is in its, uh, what is this, its third weekend or oh, second weekend. That's okay. So that's great. Um, Sicario, um, Dev Saldado. That right now is $53 million with a budget of $35 million. You know, my rule of three. So that needs to make, well, $105 million. I don't even have my uh, calculator pulled up. Let me go ahead and get that on my phone real quick. Like, just so we can have it ready. Where's the calculator? Why is it, you know, it's kind of just one of those things, you know, when you never need something. Uh, it's always available. But um, you know what I'm trying to say. So. Yeah, 105 million. Um, so that's that for Sicario um, coming in at number uh, five. Coming in at number seven is Ocean's Eight, fourth in that franchise with five million dollars. That is doing relatively well um, too. Um, right now, it is at 239 million dollars uh, worldwide with a budget of 70 million dollars. So we're just gonna take that 70 and we're gonna times that by three, 210 million. So it is made over three times its uh, production budget, which is great. Uh, for Ocean's 8, I really did enjoy the film. Uh, and I'm just saying it's great because I want more movies. Uh, I would like to see what happens next with the ladies, with the Ocean's ladies, with Sandra Bullock. Um, I do not believe that uh, Daniel Ocean is dead. Uh, you know, Matt Damon was supposed to have a cameo, but apparently uh, he made some very insensitive comments and, you know, they uh, X'd his cameo from the movie. 
Um, but uh, besides all that, I you know, if a film is making money and if it is profitable, the studio is more likely to make more sequels. And so um, I just said it to say I enjoyed the movie. It's making money. So hopefully we will see more from that franchise. Coming in at number eight is Tag with Jeremy Renner um, and a number of other fellows. True story of uh, men that have been playing the game of Tag for their entire life, which is pretty dope. Um, this is at twenty eight million dollars for the budget. And it is right now at $61 million worldwide. So it is doing okay. So if we take that $28 million and we time is at about a three, that is $84. Wait a minute. Am I? Okay. Yeah. $84 uh, million or 84 So 61 Hopefully, um, you know, we, you know, the tag can get. Well, actually, to be honest, which I don't really care. I didn't love the movie that much. And I don't think they're going to you know, make a sequel to Tag. But, you know, I, I don't want the studio to lose money. If they lose money, they can't make movies. So, yeah, I, I want it to do well. It's in its fourth week, bringing in another $3 million. So let's go Tag. Let's get on up there. Won't You Be My Neighbor coming in at number nine from Focus Features. In this fifth week, a documentary that has to do with, I was going to say Dr. Seuss. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> excuse me i have not seen this yet um but everybody that i hear online is raving about how great it is so i think i'm just gonna have to carve out maybe like a saturday morning matinee something like that i don't know and go check this thing out i'm up here talking about it. i didn't even touch how much money it made but domestically it's made 13 million dollars uh but this is a documentary so i'm thinking that the budget was relatively cheap for some reason, I feel like I keep saying relatively a lot. And then I didn't even say it right there last time. But that's okay. And let me lean forward so y'all can hear me in the microphone. Okay, well, I'm looking for the budget. Uh, and they don't have the budget. Where's the budget for this movie? Well, it, it was cheap, I, I can imagine. So, because I just don't think it was that expensive. But I could be wrong. But anyway, Won't You Be My Neighbor is coming in at number nine. And coming in at number 10, it's still in there. And this eighth week in the top 10 is Deadpool 2. Uh, $110 million uh, production budget right now, $727 million uh, worldwide. Um, I believe the first film grossed a lot. Well, not a lot more. I think it was like seven. Uh, let's see. Deadpool versus Deadpool. So the first Deadpool did seven hundred and eighty three million dollars. And this Deadpool is in its uh, eighth week. So um, we're going to see it's going to be in theaters for at least another month. Um, you know, at that, I, I seriously doubt um, any otherwise. But let me go back to this top 10 real quick, because there's just a few of the things, not a few of the things. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about. Um, Whitney is a new release, um, came in at one million dollars. I did not see it, but I plan to. Um, sorry to bother you. I have seen the film. Um, I will be giving my review for that after I give my review for The Purge. And I'm not going to say anything about it other than you need to uh, check it out um, or check out the review of, of me talking about it. Check out my opinion. Now, uh, it was released limited last week. This coming Friday, it will be released wide, but um, in a number of other theaters. Um, so that's out right now. And um is there anything else that I want to talk about before I get into all the nitty gritty and the specifics? Okay, so Ant Man and the Wops. Let's talk about the Wasp. Right now, seventy. Um, what was it? Seventy six million dollars. Um, opening weekend. Um, I'm gonna say worldwide. No opening weekend. Now I am perfectly fine with that. Um, of course, I was kind of hoping that it would have made maybe eighty million dollars. Uh, but it made um. 76 and that's perfectly fine because you know you're making more than the previous film another great thing about ant-man and the wasp is they did not um go up on the production budget at all the first film that came when it came out in 2015 july 2015 was it was like three months after or no two months after um avengers age of ultron um the budget for that was 130 million the budget for ant-man and the wasp is 130 million dollars too so that's great same budget bigger, bigger opening weekend you know what i'm saying it seems like this is going to be um profitable i mean i i, I pretty everyone i think was pretty sure it was going to be profitable but you know just depending on how big if it was going to have like a large multiplier making three four five times the budget so i think uh if you do the math for um 
the first Ant Man. Uh, we're gonna yeah, we're just gonna do five nineteen divided by one thirty. So uh, three point uh, four times the budget. I was gonna say three point nine nine. So four times the budget. So I hope Ant Man and the Wasp makes around eight hundred million dollars. Um, I will be disappointed if it does not reach seven hundred million dollars worldwide. But we're just gonna have to see. Um, it has not opened in all territories worldwide as of yet. There is a lot of European countries, uh, to my knowledge, that. Or uh, it's not opening to another month, um, you know, I believe because of the World Cup. But at the same time, I'm not following those. So I don't know where I, I just don't know. I, I, I don't see half a not even. I, anyway, I'm not paying attention to the World Cup right now, uh, but that may be a factor. So it is. Well, I don't want to date this video, but um, it's opening in one it it has an opening one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen countries um right now uh, i am looking at the release schedule on imdb right now for ant-man and the wasp for example japan it doesn't open until august 31st they, they have a decent size um box office run italy and portugal um you know two weeks before that august 14th and 15th Three more countries on August 3rd, a number on July 26th, and uh, about four or five and this weekend in the middle of next week. Um, China, is it going to play in China? I don't know. Um, I do not see a release schedule on here at all. China is very strict with their releases and only allow a number of um, um, foreign films to be imported. I could be completely wrong there. That information could be dated, but that's just with the limited knowledge that I know. If you have any information on Ant-Man and the Wasp being released in China, please put it in the comment section below. And if you don't know why China is such a big deal, it's because it's the second largest. Um, it has the second largest box office totals uh, worldwide uh, coming right after um, us over here, the United States of America's. Uh, but Ant-Man and the Wasp, $519 million uh, worldwide. It grossed uh, 80, $180 million domestically total, uh, $339. I usually will do a showdown, but for some reason, um, uh, Box Office Mojo did not want to do a showdown for Ant-Man and Ant-Man, So, but that's okay. Um, but a showdown that they did do for the films is uh, Marvel First Sequels. Uh, which is between Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Iron Man 2, Thor The Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. This, comparing these films does not interest me at all, um, especially with Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy thrown in there. I mean, they're just two completely different properties, um, you know, but yeah, so it, it just doesn't, I'm, I'm not going to get into that just in case, you know, somebody was like, Hey, I like when you talk about the showdown. I was like, you know, I, I'm that just, it's just kind of pointless to me, um, in my opinion. Um, but now I want to move over to, um, the purge real quick because that film is a trip. Well, no, let me just talk about Jurassic world, um, uh, real quick. Now it is at a billion dollars now. Okay. That's great. That's fantastic. 341 million domestically, 727 million dollars worldwide. So 70% of the budget, I mean, of the um, sales is overseas and 30% is of it is over here. If you look at the showdown between Jurassic Rumble, it's called Jurassic Rumble. They come up with such great names. Uh, the budget for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, I like the beginning of the first half. Second half was all right. Uh, budget for this was 170 million dollars. Um, for Jurassic World, it was $150 million, 2015. So, you know, these movies make around the same as Marvel do in a way. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but they're slightly cheaper. Billion dollar films for Marvel are in the $200 million range production wise, and not the case here. Um, I'm not, you know, if you look at um, Jurassic World 2, Fallen Kingdom is not going to reach uh, $1.6 billion, which is what the first Jurassic World made. Um, but how far will it go? I don't know. I think maybe it could. What week is this thing in? Let's me see. This is in is. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be in this fourth weekend. 
I'm trying to just predict how much money I think it will make in the remainder of its box office run for, um, you know, the a domestic run. I'm going to say maybe $450 million. Um, that doesn't seem too far out of um, a realistic possibility. More worldwide, it'll probably make one point two, one point three uh, billion dollars. Uh, we'll we'll see, but it was a decent film. You know they're gonna make another one. Um, if you look at the day to day for um, the Jurassic World movies, Jurassic World that came out in two thousand fifteen. All right, moving over to the Purge, and uh, like I said, go to my review. Um, the first Purge, I couldn't stand it. The home invasion. Purge Anarchy, I liked it a lot more in 2014 uh, with uh, the, the what's his name from uh, Crossbones, Frank Grillo from uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. I liked that one a lot better. Purge 3 was a v- real big disappointment. I mean, they had some good parts, but overall, I'm like, this is kind of stupid. Um, and the first Purge, yeah, you're just going to have to check out my review for that. Um, but it's making money. Um, the budget is going up with each film. The first one was $3 million, $9 million for the second, $10 million, and then $13 million. Um, The opening weekend for the first Purge um, is uh, a lot less than all the other films. Um, You know, I guess people were just kind of sick of it. I don't know. Uh, Came out July 4th weekend. Well, they all come out in July. um, uh, July 4th weekend, except for the second one, came out mid-July. Uh, but each purge has made more money worldwide. Um, you know, the first one made $89 million worldwide. The second one made 111 million worldwide. Third one made $118 million worldwide. So we're going to see what it's doing right now. Right now, the first purge is at $48 million. But if we look at the day to day, this one is doing the second best. Um, Actually, it's probably doing last place. Um, yeah, I mean, at the day to day, it's in, it's literally in last place. Um, even on the day to days, it hasn't won one of those. So I don't know. Maybe people are sick of it. Maybe the word of mouth is that uh, there were too many innocent black people getting slaughtered in the film. You should check out my review when I talk about that more. Uh, but, you know, so, you know, there you go. Uh, Jason Blum over at Blum House. Um, next on the, um, on the, th- where, where is it? I want to talk about Incredibles for a second here as well. Cause that's my movie. I love that movie. Incredibles is at $781 million, uh, worldwide right now. Five, you know, $500 million, um, domestically. And ha- where, ha- where else has it opened up? It's open in China too. It's only did $48 million there, but, uh, Incredibles, you know, I really did enjoy that film. And I was trying to, let me see what the first one made. I don't know. I can't remember. The first one made $633 million uh, worldwide. Now, I believe the budget for Incredibles 2 is twice as much. But let me see. Let's go over and check out our friend other website over at thenumbers.com. Because I really do want to know what the budget is. I think it's two hundred million, but we're gonna see. Ugh, yeah, two hundred million dollars. It's already. I mean, it's made profit or whatever. But as of now, the first film is way more profitable. So, um, you know, I mean, it's it was less than half of. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Than what the original film cost to make. So, you know. But that's that. Now, what else on the uh, on the box office do I want to talk about? Because I try to pay attention to things that are just not in the top ten anymore. Um, Solo Star Wars story that's at like three hundred and seventy three million dollars worldwide right now. Oh, three hundred eighty million dollars worldwide right now. It's not going to make much more uh, than that. Um, Avengers Infinity War is still trucking along. Is at two billion forty million? Um, yeah, two billion forty million right now. Trying to catch. Uh, what is that movie? Uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Um, so Star Wars: The Force Awakens is twenty eight point two million dollars away. Uh, I know twenty eight million dollars uh, away. I don't know if it'll catch it, but we'll see. Um, I believe it is open in all of its territories worldwide. So maybe if there's a re-release next year, right before Avengers Four. You know, it could make um, 
a little bit more uh, money there. Um, Rampage uh, with The Rock, something that I am a fan of, too. Um, that is at $425 million right now off of a $120 million budget. So that is in profit ram right there. Um, I mean, the top two, the top movies in 2018, Black Panther, number one, this is domestic, um, Avengers Infinity War, number two, Incredibles is number three, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is number four, Deadpool is number five, Solo Star Wars Story is number six at 211 million, A Quiet Place is number seven, 187 million, Ready Player One, 137 million, and number eight. Uh, number nine is Ocean's Eight, and number ten is Peter Rabbit, um, and this is domestic. Uh, Ranking Times got knocked out at a hundred million. Go Ava DuVernay, first black woman to make a film go over one hundred million dollars domestically. Even though um, the film still was not a success critically or financially, hey, you still deserve that trophy, my sister. Uh, what else do I want to talk about real quick? Fifty Shades Free, no, uh, let's see here, I've got the wrong chart up, excuse me everybody, there was something else that I wanted to mention, okay, Black Panther, you know I'm going to talk about Black Panther, right now, $1,346,000,000, now, Black Panther, man, come on, Right now, domestically, that thing is at six hundred and ninety nine million dollars, six hundred ninety nine, eight hundred and eighty one thousand four hundred and nine dollars. Come on, man. I want to get the exact figure of how um, far away this is from hitting that seven hundred million dollar mark, that milestone. You know, if it wasn't already on um, Blu-ray right now, 4K, all that good stuff, home video, whatever, uh, I would go see it at least one more time in theaters. You know, catch the dollar movie at least or something, or you know, early show matinee. And right now, it is literally at one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. We're gonna round out one hundred and nineteen thousand dollars away from hitting that milestone of seven hundred million dollars. Why is that important? Well, let's look and see. If we look at the all-time domestic right now, there's only three movies that have ever reached over seven hundred million. No, two movies that have only reached over seven hundred million dollars: Star Wars: The Force Awakens, that came out in 2015, and Avatar, which came out in 2009 by James Cameron. It would be so nice just to, you know, have Black Panther, uh, you know, in that seven hundred million dollar club domestically i'm not gonna get nothing for it but it would just be nice to see it you know what i'm saying so it's right there so if you haven't seen black panther it's at the uh, dang dollar movie probably right probably right now just go see it we need 118 119 thousand people to go see it at the dollar movie go because it's a dollar now i'm being silly but um you know that 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 would be nice um, all time uh, worldwide right now, Avengers is number four. Black Panther is number nine. And I don't think anything. Only thing that could possibly catch it right now is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Maybe I doubt it will catch Black Panther. You know, it, it, it's just. Oh, excuse me. I don't care too much to even look at the numbers to see if it could catch it. I just didn't care for that film. But Black Panther be number nine until what's coming out later on in December this year. I don't know. Who who knows? Mission Impossible could surprise us all. I doubt it. But uh, I don't know. How much do the Mission Impossible movies make while I'm up here talking? Talking trash. Let's see here. Ghost Protocol. How much did you make worldwide? Okay, six ninety four. Uh, I mean, if it's just off the chain, who knows? Six eighty two. How much was the third one? By J J Abrams. Okay, three ninety seven. Okay, so uh, Mission Impossible is not near billion dollar range, but you know, you never know if it could get there. Um, but is there anything else that I want to talk about, guys? No, I think that's it. Um, 
So guys, you know, that is just my opinion of the box office results for this past weekend. Um, what did you think? Um, you know, did you are you happy with the results? Are you not happy? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash uh review or reaction or whatever this episode of the box office results for ant-man and the wasp and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon k davery and that's just my opinion peace